only for first wife that is this lady on the green bow she has finally accepted the new wife Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I just want to really listen to me at this point in time. This is Real Gist Television. So guys, thanks for coming around to my channel. I really appreciate your presence. Please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And do not forget to leave your notification bell on so that once I post video, you get an alert, okay? Okay, guys, on today's trend of gist, it's all about Orni's new wife. So looking at the screen right now, it has been noted that Oni has finally decided to settle down eight months since Queen Naomi left the palace. Queen Naomi decided to also write to us, that was on December 24, to tell us that she's no longer interested in the marriage. So Oni has finally decided to go ahead to marry another queen that will be replacing Queen Naomi. So guys, this is the pure evidence to tell you that Queen Naomi will no longer be coming back to the palace yes because she has been replaced by a new queen and her name is Miriam. so looking at the screen right now Miriam is from kogi state though the mother is also from kwara state the part of kwara state that she's from is the part that speak yoruba okay so that means she has a yoruba blood in her and she's highly welcome to be the wife of the great king so it has also been noted that she has been welcome to the palace and only face wife yes only first wife has also accepted her and other people that was there before her so let me don't get you confused because i know a lot of people already accent was only married before yes not that only was married before okay this is the only notable queen the lady you're looking at right now but before she came there was other ladies Yes, the late Oni also had wives. So Oni, the present Oni cannot just chase them away. He's taking care of all those wives. Does not mean that he's married to them. Okay, yes, it does not mean that he's married to them. But they are under his care. So that is what I know is already confusing you. So the water they are pouring at her feet is part of the culture of acceptance as the new queen. Because these women, they've been there before she came so they're trying to welcome her by pouring this water on her faith as an acceptance as the new queen so it's part of the culture okay guys so i'm trying to tell you this because especially to my fans to my subscribers sorry that are not uh, yorubas okay so that once you're watching you get to understand what you're watching okay so with the latest findings it has been noted I mean, from the right source, from Moses. Moses is Orni's PA. Yes. That Orni started approaching this lady. That was on March. Yes, I know you're already surprised. Why so soon? Queen Nomi left on December and this lady is already here. And it says March. Yes, you know, Queen Nomi wrote that letter to Orni. And since then, Orni decided to keep quiet concerning everything about his private life especially when it comes to his marriage and since that very much it has been noted that only has been doing things gradually you know all villages they have their own procedures to get married some might do it in a bit some will still do it later but for this particular lady only sends elders to go to their village and do the necessary findings okay so that findings that is what they had to carry out the right and he's here as the new queen and we thank god that uh, oni has finally gotten someone else there is nothing we can do about that guys if there's something that will still be even with queen nomi being there oni would definitely get married to many women if he wants to okay so here comes the new queen so people are saying that this particular lady that she is a very calm person i mean from the direct source that she has humility and you know getting married to a king shows that you have to have humility without humility you will lose it all okay if you act in anger you might end up losing it all so that is part of what they said that she has People that have seen her, 
people that have come in contact with her, people that have done things with her in various ways, so that she's a very calm lady and she has that patience and humility. Then another thing about this lady is this, it has been noted that she is an oil magnet, that she's very wealthy, that she's a very busy person, okay? So I think these criteria play a very good role for her as a queen because she will always be busy. You know, the palace is quite another world, a very big world. So most of the times, if you're always busy, you might not really notice some things that can provoke you as the queen. Yes, so since she's always, or she should always be busy, I think this is one of the criteria that will also help her in the marriage and also make this particular one to last. Then another thing that I really want to clear here, guys, is all about people discussing about this latest age. Does it mean that old women, or as they say that she's old, that they don't have right to get married? Guys, this is a very bad one for people to be judging people or people to be judging people's happiness with age. Everyone deserves to be happy despite their age, okay? So I think for me, this very lady is matured enough and being matured shows that she can tolerate. You know, once you are too young, there are a lot of things you will not tolerate. Once you have been provoked, you can find your way to the door and leave. Understand. But with this her age, she's really, as she has seen the world, she's an experienced person too. So I think she's really, as an, she's really ready to get married. Okay. So maturity plays a role when it comes to marriage. You have to know how to handle some issues. You'll not be running after or going back to your parents' house if you have been provoked at any little issue. But with this her age, I don't think as in she'll be after going back or she would like to leave the palace as in with any little provocation. If this for provocation, it must surely happen because she's not the only one Oni will marry and Oni will definitely marry many women. So it takes maturity to accept those things before it starts happening, okay? So I think this does not really, this age stuff shouldn't be what people should be concerned about. They should be more concerned about her character and how she's going to give the happiness that Oni truly deserves, okay? Oni has married before and before and before. That's three times which we are aware of, okay? But I think there is a reason why things are not really falling into place. But let's just consider that maturity in this lady because she is one of the most matured wife that Oni has ever married. So I think it's a good one for Oni to try at least someone different, understand so we let's like just hope that this particular one will work but the special grace of god is going to work okay so guys i really appreciate your presence of my channel if you've not subscribed please click the subscribe button